And so I was kind of doing this and then I thought, you know, I'd share it with you guys. All right. Now the insulator in my Patriot is kind of cooked a bit. Okay. I'll show you what I mean here. I can back that out and it's just not working the way it should. The post is moving around. It's just not like super cool anymore. Like it's doing one of these. See that? It's just, it's not where it should be anymore, you know? So I'm going to replace the insulator on it. And I was kind of searching on YouTube trying to find, you know, another video for it. And I couldn't. So that's why I'm doing it, all right? I'm going to take that center screw out, okay, to start. Now, there's an insulator on top. It's a small little guy like this. And that sits in that little kind of cut out there. On the bottom, you got your 510 pin, and this is the guy that sits in there, okay? So your 510 pin sits in this one, all right? So I'm gonna replace those, pretty easy, right? Now, I've seen some people take these right out of here, and I just, I don't know, it's easier said than done, right? To pick that out. But what I did last time I did this was just push this pin all the way through the bottom and that worked for me okay now you got to be careful when you're doing this but I'll show you what I'm gonna do here just gonna try and put some pressure on here and it should just force through should you know what I'm gonna use that screw still shouldn't have taken that out because I'm gonna utilize that to press on just so I don't screw up the threads if I could put that back in. That center screw, man. The other ones are in the way. <laughs> Where was that screwdriver? Okay, so I'm going to snug that up. And then I'm going to give it a bit of force. Okay, now you should start to see that pin pop out. There it is. All right. That wasn't too hard. Now I'm going to back this screw out of here. So it's not pulling through with everything else. All right. Should just be able to pop that whole thing out just like that. All right. What you're left is with is that bottom insulator, your pin, and you could just pull all this stuff apart. You should be able to. But now I can pick out this top insulator. All right. It's a good time to give it a little wipe in there. I'll just take a little bit of like Kleenex right now and just kind of dig in there. All right. Give a little polish polishy. That bad boy going. Man, it smells like juice in there. Twist that through. Just make sure it's, you know, fairly clean. There it is. It actually looks pretty clean, man. Now we could start replacing. Oh, man, I'm starting to mix stuff up. Where was the old one? Oh, it's over here, right? Let's make sure that's the old one. Yeah, it's a little more scuffed than this one, I think. This one feels a little more firm. Okay. Now these are these fit in either way. You know, you could put them in either way. Okay. I'm just going to jam that in place. And it should expand a little bit once you uh, get some juice on it and so on and so forth. All right. Oh, this kind of sucks to pull out. Just work it a bit. I'm going to actually take a plier and take that off. Come on, baby. What the... Here it comes. Well, it was coming. 
<sighs> Nobody said it was easy. Oh, I thought it came off there. Well, it's so close, man. I don't want to put anything on here and mar it, though. Maybe I could just utilize this, the ceramic tweezer, against the base of that guy. And then it won't mar it. And then just pull on this side. Yep. Come on there, little buddy. There it is. That was easy. Okay. Now, I'm going to put that old one with the other guy. I'm going to give this one a little wipey wipe too. Clean it up there. And then hopefully this doesn't happen again for a little while. Be careful, you know, when you're dry firing these. Not to dry fire too long. I'm pretty bad for that. And I'm pretty bad for putting low res stuff on and just cooking the crap out of my uh, my insulators. So just jam that new one into that hole, okay? Now it's gonna be tight, right? The new one's gonna be tight. So if you can find something to press against it with, that's good. I'm going to use my table to kind of push against it <sighs> until it's in there pretty flush, okay? Let's see here. Now if I can use a screwdriver to kind of push it in the rest of the way, then we're going to be beautiful. <sighs> okay. Could go in a little further, actually. What size is this? That's a better one. All right. Oh. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so I got that insulator, the bottom insulator, just a little bit countersunk, okay? It's just a little bit countersunk in there. And on the other side, there's like a little lip, and it just comes up to that lip where your other insulator is going to sit into that guy. Okay? Now, the tough part is getting this guy in, all right? I wonder if I could lube this a little bit. I really don't want to, but let's see how she goes. Because these are tight fit, man. Okay. There we go. Should be lining up pretty good. Now, I'm going to see if I can press this through. Something like that. Yeah, it's tight. I'm going to have to hammer this thing in here. All right. Hmm. Let's see here. That's helping out. There we go. Getting there. <laughs> Get that in there. Push it in. 
Okay, close. Just about. It can go a little bit more. Tiny bit more. going to work, man. A tiny little nub off the end. Bam, we're in. Okay, now the top insulator. Hope this was the right one. I'm sure. Let me see here. Yeah, that's the new one. Definitely the new one. Okay, put that top one over it. And this one's easy. This one just presses into place here. You could take a screwdriver and put that one in. Okay. Push that into that little cutout. And we've replaced an insulator. All right. Now it's got that little pellet. Goes into the uh, post. Drops in. Should drop in. There it goes. And you can put the screw in. Where's my screwdriver? Pretty easy now. Just a nightmare getting that pin into place, you know? It's a bit of a struggle putting the bottom insulator in and putting the center post in. All right? But that's it. Done. It's not going to move. You're good for a little while. All right? Hopefully that helped you guys out. All right? Talk to you later.